Currently, black cohosh is promoted as a dietary supplement for hot flashes and other menopausal symptoms. It also has been promoted for other conditions like menstrual cramps, premenstrual syndromes, and inducing labor. But what does the science say? Does black cohosh actually live up to its hype? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the science behind black cohosh nutrition, potential health benefits, and side effects, and classify it as either helpful, harmful, or just in plain hoax. What's up superhumans? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tessa. I'm a functional medicine pharmacist as well as a certified nutrition coach and personal trainer. And my goal with this platform is to inspire, educate, and empower you guys to reach your optimal health utilizing holistic, evidence-based, health and wellness practices. If you want to learn more about how you can work with me one-on-one -on -one to optimize your health utilizing alternative therapies, superfoods, and supplements, as well as nutrition, or become one of my online coaching clients, keep listening to the end of this video for more information or use the link below in my video description to book a free 15-minute wellness consultation with me where we'll discuss exactly how I can help you with your health. As always, superfood supplements and natural remedies can interact with certain disease states or medications, so make sure you're talking with your healthcare providers before you supplement with anything. All right, let's do it. The most consistent evidence is for a specific commercial extract, Remifemin. When taken in doses from 40 to 127 milligrams daily for up to 12 weeks, it reduces menopausal symptoms and hot flashes frequently. It also seems to be comparable to hormonal therapy, including low dose transdermal estradiol, so estroderm, and Premarin. However, research using other formulations of black cohosh is less consistent. The high dropout rates of these studies and lack of sound study design of these research studies really limit the reliability of these findings. For example, a meta-analysis of 16 clinical trials that assessed both commercial and non-commercial black cohosh preparations show that overall black cohosh is not superior to placebo and is inferior to hormonal therapy for reducing hot flashes, frequency, and symptoms of menopause. Similarly, another meta-analysis of the results of four clinical trials shows that black cohosh did not reduce the number of daily hot flashes when compared to control. Despite this, a 2007 review of recent research suggests that black cohosh extracts should be approved for the treatment in Europe and they seem to decrease menopausal symptoms. But what about the safety of black cohosh and black cohosh supplements? In clinical trials, people have taken black cohosh as long as 12 months with no serious harmful side effects. However, black cohosh can cause some mild side effects like breast tenderness, dizziness, headache, irritability, rash, stomach upset, cramps, as well as vaginal spotting or bleeding and weight gain. In addition, it's not clear if black cohosh is safe for women who have had a hormone sensitive condition such as breast cancer. So people with breast cancer should avoid using black cohosh. Now little is known about whether it's safe to use black cohosh during pregnancy or while breastfeeding. So as of right now, I would refrain using them in pregnant women or women that are breastfeeding. Now there have been some rare cases of liver damage that have been reported in people taking commercial black cohosh products. However, it's uncertain whether these black cohosh was actually responsible for the liver damage or if it was because of impure or contaminants within that supplement. And this brings up an incredibly important point when choosing a, a black cohosh supplement or supplement in general. Some commercial black cohosh products have been found to contain the wrong herb or contain a mixture of black cohosh and other herbs that are not listed on the supplement label. So if you choose to supplement, make sure you to buy a product that is either third-party tested or preferably either USP or NSF verified for purity and potency so you aren't just buying impure, diluted, or contaminated supplement products. Now black cohosh can potentially interact with certain medications including statin medications like atorvastatin. So taking black cohosh with any statins, particularly atorvastatin, might increase the risk of elevated liver function tests. Overall, I think black cohosh, specifically the extract of Remifemin, could be potentially helpful for hot flashes and menopausal symptoms in healthy adults, according to the current scientific research. I do think we still need more research to confirm this, and it is really important to purchase a high 
quality black cohosh supplement if you want to try this. Now, if you want to learn more about how to eat, exercise, and create holistic habits to improve your health and feel stronger and have more self-confidence, make sure to subscribe to this channel by hitting the little button below. And of course, if you want more day-to-day -day tips and tricks on how to optimize your health with nutrition, supplements, and superfoods, make sure to follow me on Instagram at the superfood pharmacist. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, put them below in the comment section because I love to just be a resource for all of you guys. And I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day and always remember to keep living your worth.